All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today we are gonna be talking about how to get and stay lean during Thanksgiving. Hello, 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 Zen Dude Nation. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dan Whitmer here today, and uh, I wanted to shoot this video, do it a little different, because Brendan and I are always playing around with different camera techniques, and we're trying to make these videos um, as high quality as we possibly can. So I thought we'd do a little experiment where we switch to vlog style and just kind of set the camera up and go, as opposed to you know hooking the mic up and getting all intense with it. Um, it's just easier we can shoot more videos and give you guys more information and more content if we can shoot these and get these out faster. Um, so let me know if you guys like this style of video or if you're like, oh my god, the audio is so bad, Dan, go back to the old kind. And, I, and you know, we'll consider it, consider it, but this is pretty nice, not gonna lie. Just set the camera up and go. So here in the United States and Canada, also I found out in the Netherlands, um, it is Thanksgiving tomorrow. So if you are someone who celebrates Thanksgiving and I did not mention your country, please let me know because I didn't know other countries celebrated Thanksgiving. So guys, typically around the holidays, that gives people a lot of excuses, uh, starting with Thanksgiving. They go home for Thanksgiving or they have a big family meal and then that kind of starts this uh, domino effect of just eating crappy food and then blaming the reason why they can't get fit on the fact that it's the holidays. I would get fit, but like, I have to eat like a whole pie every day because it's the holidays. Yeah, I was gonna go to the gym, but then like, you know, my buddies were like, dude, you're never home. We have to get wasted for the whole month. So I'm in Austin, Texas right now, and I'm going home to my girlfriend's parents' place in Atlanta, Georgia. My girlfriend's parents, they are really good cooks, so I'm pretty excited to stuff my face. So guys, how do you make the holidays a win-win where you get to eat delicious food, but at the same time, you still stay on track to your goals of getting lean? In this video, I'm just going to share a few tips that uh, Brandon and I implement around Thanksgiving, around Christmas, um, but pretty much, even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving or Christmas, you can use the tips that I'm about to give you um, in any life circumstance where you know that there's a day where you're going to be consuming a lot of food. So it could be a festival that you're, out, that you're at with friends and family, um, it could be a birthday, it could just be a family gathering, it could be a holiday that we here in the United States don't celebrate that you do celebrate. So tell me, actually, tell me which holiday you celebrate where you in your country eat a lot of food and then let me know which country you're from. Tell me the country that you're from, wait, tell me the country that you're from and the holiday that you typically consume the most food. As the first tip that I typically uh, do is on a regular day of eating, remember, your ability to get lean and stay lean is totally dependent upon calories and macronutrients. That is the biggest contributing factor to how you're going to look. Um, so during the week, I eat in a calorie deficit. I don't on the weekend. So my, week, my weekday calories are somewhere between 2,500 and 2,700. But since I know that I'm gonna be consuming a ton of food tomorrow, I cut back on my calories today, and I'm also cutting out most of those calories in carbs. So I'm lowering my carbs because I know that tomorrow I'm gonna to be eating a lot of rich, indulgent, carb-rich carb food. Another thing, guys, intermittent fasting. So Brandon and I always talk about intermittent fasting. We have a video on it right here. If you don't know what it is, be sure to check that out. If you already do, then you know that Brandon and I typically break our fast every day around 2 p.m., but today, Wednesday, I'm breaking it around four or five, so I get a little bit, you know, a couple more hours just to ensure that my body is burning that stored fat that it needs to before I have my feast tomorrow. Now, in terms of working out, guys, it's super important to get a very strenuous full body workout in either the day of or the day before your feast. Basically, when you eat food, there's one of two places it's gonna go, to your muscle cells or to your fat cells. So if you don't do any kind of working out beforehand and you go to eat all that indulgent food tomorrow, most of that food is gonna be stored by your fat cells because the food goes in and looks at your muscle cells and it's like, well, they weren't really doing anything so they don't really require any energy, therefore we can just go and be stored for energy that needs to be used at a later time. But if you use all the muscles in your body, uh, including resistance training or weight training and a very high intensity workout beforehand, 
then when you go to eat all that food tomorrow, your body is basically like, dude, I need nutrients and it will go, more of that food will go to your muscle cells as opposed to your fat cells. So if you wanna get some weight workouts in before you hit Thanksgiving dinner, check out our gaining muscle course, which is linked below here. Focused on just eating one or two humongous meals. Don't graze because when you are grazing, you are constantly filling your body with food and glucose. So your body is constantly like, oh, I have to go burn that fuel because this person keeps putting food into my body. Now, instead of doing that, just eat two big meals so that you can eat, indulge, feast, have a good time, and then be done with it so your body can get to work burning those calories and minimize the damage that you would experience the next day up to a week after that big meal. So I fly into Atlanta Thursday morning, and then we'll probably eat around 5, maybe like 4, 5 p.m. So I probably will not eat up until that point. I'm gonna stuff my face, feast like crazy, it's gonna be amazing. Then I'm gonna rest for an hour or two, and then I feast for dessert. I'm talking, yeah, I might have, I might have three or four pieces of apple pie. What's it to you? What's it to you? It's fine because my muscles are accepting some of that glucose and they're being rebuilt. Junk food can work for you if you eat it at the right times after an intense workout. And lastly guys, alcohol. I am someone who openly consumes alcohol in moderation. I enjoy it with friends and family, and if you do, that's fine too. If you don't drink, don't worry about it. You don't. This part does not apply to you. If you do drink, don't go off the rails, guys. It's okay to have fun and enjoy a few drinks with family and friends, but don't sabotage your weight loss and getting lean goals because you get super drunk and then eat a bunch of food. So guys, alcohol is kind of a double whammy. Not only does it give you additional calories, but it's a toxin. So the body wants to get rid of it as soon as it enters your body. So for example, when you eat food without alcohol, what typically happens is the body starts to burn that food. Food comes in, the body starts to burn the food so I can get rid of it. But when you drink alcohol, the body shuts down whatever it's doing or burning at that time and says, hey, we have alcohol in our system. It's a toxin. It's a poison. We need to get it out. Let's make sure we burn it out of the system. So you can imagine what happens when if you're eating food and drinking alcohol, essentially you are keeping all that food to be stored probably most likely as fat because your body has spent so much time burning off the alcohol before it can start burning the food. From the Zen dudes to your friends and family, we wanna wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. And remember, use these throughout all the holiday season. And also, this doesn't just necessarily apply to the holidays, guys. You should be using these tactics to make sure that the food you're eating is, yes, delicious, but also working for you rather than against you. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below, followed by a subscribe to get free we whoa. So guys, go ahead and subscribe if you would like to get lean and sexy with the jump rope in your body.